This demonstration is for the ClinyTest Rapid COVID-19 antigen self-test only. For all other tests, read and follow the instructions that come with the box. It's recommended that you clean the surface really well. So I wiped everything down with a good cleaner and then I went behind it with a little bit of alcohol just to be on the safe side. Once you've gotten your area cleaned, now it's time to unpack your box. You're going to go through the items and make sure you have everything you need. There will be five of each thing, including your instructions. You'll have cartridges in these plastic bags and you'll have long Q-tips. You'll also have a bag full of tubes and caps. Once you've ensured you have all your supplies, now all you need to do is take out one Q-tip and one test cartridge. You'll also need your tubes. Now look at your box. On the back there are two perforated spots to poke out which you can use for putting the tester tube in. Close the box and punch out one of the holes. Now you're going to take out a tube and a cap from the plastic bag. Be sure not to touch the top of the cap. Now open up your instructions and if you'd like to read through them now. After getting all your surfaces cleaned and everything laid out, grab a good magnifying glass. You're going to need it. Step one is to place the tube inside the box, which is kind of silly because you're going to have to take it back out and remove the top. When you're removing the top, be careful. There is liquid inside the tube, so you want to be careful you don't spill it. Then place the tube back into the box. and leave it. Now it's time for the uncomfortable part, but with these home tests, they're not that uncomfortable. You see where the Q-tip is at the top. When you go to open it, you're going to turn it upside down so that when you're opening it, you'll be pulling the Q-tip out by the handle and not by the tip. Be sure not to touch the tip. This is about how far you're going to insert the Q-tip into your nose. The instructions say to carefully insert the swab tip into one nostril about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch deep. Once you've got the Q-tip in your nostril, you want to swab it around in a circular motion at least five times. You also want to ensure that it's in the nostril for at least 15 seconds. Then you're going to move to the other nostril and repeat the process all over again. So you will be swabbing both nostrils together a total of 30 seconds, at least five swabs in each nostril. Once you've finished swabbing your nose, now you're going to take the Q-tip and carefully put it inside the tube all the way to the bottom. Then you want to mix it around vigorously for a few seconds, at least five to ten seconds. Once that's done, then you'll place the tube along with the Q-tip back inside the box and set a timer for one minute. While you're waiting for the one minute timer to go off, go ahead and open the packet containing your test cartridge. The only other thing in that package is going to be a silica gel pack, which you can throw away.
Once your one minute timer has gone off, now it's time to take the Q-tip out of the tube. Be careful because there is some stuff at the bottom. What you want to do is go right above the tip of the Q-tip and squeeze while pulling out the Q-tip. You can do this a second time farther up at the top. Once you've got the Q-tip out, then you want to put the topper onto the uh, tube. Try not to touch the very tip of it. Carefully put this plunger top part on and close it really tightly. This is going to turn the tube into a dropper so you can put the drops into your test packet. So you want to turn this upside down and carefully count the drops. Squeeze one two, three, four. This and this can be thrown away now. Fifteen minutes later. After the 15 minutes, it's time to read your test results. You don't want to try to read your results before the 15 minutes, but you also don't want to wait after 20 minutes. So there's about a five minute window that you really want to look at your test strip. Now there are two letters on the test strip. One is a C for control and the other is a T for test. Anyone who's taken a pregnancy test knows Two lines are positive, one line means the test was done right, but you're probably not positive. Anyway, if there is even the faintest red line next to the T, it's a pretty good chance you've got the COVID virus. Now, if there is no line next to the T, it's a pretty good chance you don't have the virus or at least the test has not picked up any of the virus particles in your nose, at least at this time. And of course, the CDC has all kinds of recommendations about waiting a day or two and taking another test. Follow the guidelines. Don't take my word for it. I hope this video has helped, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.